Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs quiz. Now, for mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. And in this app, you can read the text version of this quiz. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. While launching the COVID-19 vaccine portal, the Union Health Minister released 100 years timeline history of which institution. So, the timeline history of ICMR was released. What is ICMR? It is Indian Council of Medical Research. And the headquarters of ICMR is in New Delhi. And ICMR is serving since 1911. Present Health Minister is Dr. Harshwadhan. Recently, he was in news as he became the chairperson of executive board of WHO. What is WHO? It is World Health Organization. Recently, WHO was in news because of COVAX facility. So this is alliance between three organizations, WHO, Gavi and CEPI. Kullu Dhufusi, which was seen in news recently, is located in which country? So it is in Maldives. Recently, it was in news because the first cargo vessel from India to Maldives has reached to this town of Kullu Dufusi in Maldives. And the name of this cargo vessel was MCP Lange. Now, it is important to note that this is the first ferry service in Indian Ocean region, which is operated by SCI. What is SCI? It is Shipping Corporation of India. Now, Maldives was also in use because of Operation Sanjeevani and it was an operation of IAF, that is Indian Air Force. Maldives was also in use as recently it became the 54th member of Commonwealth. Apart from that, it was also in use as India and Maldives decided to collaborate for the development of Addu Tourism Zone in Maldives. Until which month the government has allowed mandatory export of sugar quota allocated for this year? So right answer is December. It has been extended till December. Now please remember one thing, in case of sugar export, that means in this present scenario, the marketing year is between October to September. Like it was from October 2019 to September 2020. Now the government has extended this duration till December 2020. Why this was done? This was done because of COVID-19. As because of this coronavirus, the transportation facilities were restricted and that's why the sugar exporters were not able to export due to logistic issues. So that is why government has decided to give additional time to the sugar millers to organize their mandatory export of sugar. Now, if we talk about sugar production, Brazil is on top position while India is on second position in terms of sugar production. Recently, Brazil was also in news as Marcos Trojo of Brazil became the new president of New Development Bank, that is NDB. New Development Bank is a bank by BRICS countries, that is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. And for this year, Russia is the chairperson of this Brazil group. Recently, Russia was also in news as it proposed a pact with the USA for non-interference in each other's matter. As per the recent CAG report, what is the operating ratio of railways in last fiscal? So it is 101.77. Now what is CAG? It is Comptroller and Auditor General of India. Who is present CAG? G.C. Murmu is the present CAG. Previously, he was the Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir. Now the present Lieutenant Governor is Manoj Sinha. Now what is the meaning of this 101.77? It means for every 100 rupees earned in the fiscal year, the railway spent 101.77. So you can see that railway is not that much profitable. Now it is important to note that since last five years the railways has failed to meet the projected earnings. Apart from that recently few other events were also related to railway sector. First is recently VK Yadav was appointed as the first CEO of railway board. Railway was also in news because of Dood Duronto special. Now this special train was started during lockdown for the supply of milk. Answer in comment box, it is an initiative of which railway zone? So this Dood Duranto special was started from Renigunta to Hazrat Nizamuddin 
This Hazrat Nizamuddin is in Delhi and this Reni Gunta is in Andhra Pradesh. Branded royal which was in use recently is associated to which type of species? So it is a type of butterfly and a rare species of this butterfly was recently spotted in Nilgiris. So this is a type of butterfly. Which Indian airport has partnered with Virgin Hyperloop for Hyperloop Corridor? So recently BIAL that is Bangalore International Airport Limited has partnered with Virgin Hyperloop. Now as per this Hyperloop Corridor, the Kempegoda International Airport will be connected to Bangalore city through this Hyperloop. Now if we talk about this Virgin Hyperloop, it is an American company and it is an American transportation technology company which is working on the high speed transportation and it is known as Hyperloop. The DAP that is Defense Acquisition Processor 2020 was prepared under the chairpersonship of which personality? So it was prepared under the chairpersonship of Apoor Chandra. This DAC is the processor for defense acquisition. Now in this context we have this DAP is the processor for defense acquisition. Now in this context we have DAC that is defense acquisition council. Answer in comment box what is DAC and who is the chairperson of DAC. Okay now coming back to this Apoor Chandra committee. So this committee was given the task of this preparation of DAP that is defense acquisition processor. Now apart from Apoor Chandra few other personalities were in news. First is Rohit Sharma. So cricketer Rohit Sharma was in news as he was appointed as the brand ambassador of JKLC Sixer Cement. In addition to him cricketer Yuvraj Singh was appointed as the brand ambassador of Akash Educational Services Limited. In addition to him recently PD Waghela was appointed as new chairperson of TRI. What is TRI? It is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. So he has been appointed as the chairperson of TRI and he will hold this position for the period of 3 years or till the time he attain 65. So whichever is earlier is going to be his tenure. Which union ministry has released the report of a survey titled Health in India. So this has been released by MOSPI that is Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and it has released this report Health in India. It is important to note that as per this report, Jorastrian community is the most susceptible to the ailments and this report was released by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Who is set to feature in the new customer awareness campaign of Reserve Bank of India? So the campaign will have Amitabh Bachchan. Idea is to increase customer awareness and that's why a campaign has been started by Central Bank of India that is Reserve Bank and for that purpose there is Twitter handle of RBI and it is RBI says. Now recently RBI was also in news as RBI approved a three member committee for day to day functioning of Lakshmi Vilas Bank and this committee is to be headed by Meeta Makan. RBI was also in news because of KV Kamat committee. RBI was also in news because of Operation Twist, PIDF that is Payment Infrastructure Development Fund. On the other hand Amitabh Bachchan was also in news as he has partnered with Amazon to provide voice for Alexa. Alexa is the voice assistant by Amazon. RBI was also in news as recently former RBI governor passed away. Answer in comment box what is his name? What is the name of application launched by Ministry of Tourism along with Quality Council of India. So the name of application is Sathi and this has been launched on the occasion of World Tourism Day and this World Tourism Day is celebrated on 27th of September and the theme of this year was Tourism and Rural Development. Now it is important to note that this year the celebration that means the official celebration for World Tourism Day was not organized by a single country. Instead of that it was organized by a group of nations and it was Mercosur bloc. So this is economic association of South American countries and the members are A, B, V, P, U that is Argentina, Brazil, Venezuela, Paraguay, Uruguay. Now Venezuela is suspended from this group as of now. 
So 27th of September is World Tourism Day while 29th of September is World Heart Day and the theme of this year World Heart Day was Use Heart to Beat Cardiovascular Disease that is CD. In addition to that 29th of September was also celebrated as International Day of Awareness on Food Loss and Waste Reduction. So this was also celebrated on 29th of September and this was celebrated for the first time therefore it is important now coming back to this tourism sector recently to revive the tourism sector assam government started prayatan sanjeevani so this is an initiative by assam government to revive the tourism sector recently assam was also in news as the first women chief minister and the only women chief minister of assam passed away and she was saida anwara she was the first and only women chief minister of assam so far and her name was saida anwara tamur into technologies which has bagged a major award the ict startups award 2020 is based in mid state so it is a startup company from kerala and the headquarters is in kochi in kerala so recently this was awarded as ICT Startup Award 2020 for its work in the field of digital broadcast receivers now this into technologies is a company backed by KSUM what is KSUM it is Kerala Startup Mission and this award ceremony was organized by SOCM MEITY and Erection so what is SOCM it is Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry what is MEITY it is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and Erection. So these three organized this event, and during this event, Kerala-based startup Into Technology received ICT Startup Award 2020. So these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Now we are going to cover important news. Feel free to skip it if you do not like the format. Now one more thing: if you do not even know the full form of IMF or ICMR or SARC or BRICS, then you need to do some homework. Do not expect me to explain everything. again and again so if you do not know these full forms you need to do your homework if you are preparing for some officer level exam you should have olq that is officer like qualities if you want to be officer think like that work like that anyways enough of gyan now coming back to news events so this was a report that is all eyes on dogs so this was a report released by world animal protection and this is animal welfare organization and it has launched this report all eyes on dogs now this is non governmental organization there was one more non governmental organization which was in news yesterday and it was amnesty international now answer in comment box in which field this amnesty international works and where is the headquarter of this amnesty international next is digital suraksha group insurance so for this insurance service flipkart partnered with bazaar Allianz GIC so now these two decided to collaborate to provide digital suraksha group insurance for customers next is covid cruiser award 2020 so recently ikbal singh chahal became the first indian bureaucrat to get this covid cruiser award and he is the municipal commissioner of municipal corporation of greater mumbai and he was given this award for his role in controlling the covid 19 infection in mumbai and this award was given by indo american chamber of commerce next is hurun india rich list 2020 so this list has been topped by mr mukesh ambani and he is on top position since last 9 years it is important to note that mukesh ambani is the only indian to feature in the top 5 in the global rich list so mukesh ambani is on top position in india while hinduza brothers are on second position in india and hcl founder shiv nadar is on third position in india next is 200 million doses of covid-19 vaccine so recently sii that is serum institute of india decided that it is going to provide additional 100 million vaccines for covid-19 now in august it announced 100 million now it has announced additional 100 million so total it will provide 200 million doses of covid-19 vaccine and these will be provided by a collaboration of sii that is serum institute of india plus gavi plus bill and 
मेलिंडा गेट्स फाउंडेशन नेक्स्ट इज दूध डोरंटो स्पेशल सो वी ऑलरेडी कवर दिस दिस वॉज ए स्पेशल ट्रेन सर्विस दैट वॉज लॉन्च ड्यूरिंग लॉकडाउन टू प्रोवाइड the transportation facilities for milk next is contactless connections so this is a campaign by sbi idea is to spread the message that even during social distancing norms you can spread the love for your near and dear ones it also promote the idea of contactless payments so this is a campaign by state bank of india next is mokhtar wani so recently he became the interim prime minister for mali mali is a west african country Next is Gan Samragini Lata Mangeshkar Award. So this award was given by Maharashtra government, and for this year, Usha Mangeshkar was selected for this award. Next is AIFF Footballer of the Year Awards. AIFF is All India Football Federation. So in male category, this award was given to Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. So this was given in male category. In female category, it was given to Sanju Yadav. So. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu was men's footballer of the year and Sanju Yadav was women's footballer of the year as per recent awards and Anirudh Thapa is the amazing men's footballer of the year on the other hand Ratan Bala Devi is the amazing women's footballer of the year so these were the most important events now homework so please read about HCNG that is hydrogen mixed compressed natural gas fugitive economic offenders and DAC that is defense acquisition council so that was all for the day thank you